Hello fellow travelers and welcome back to our Biggs adventure. My name is Cynthia and today I'm going to do a Dollar General and Winn-Dixie haul. But first look at these little cute chicks that they had at my feed store. I didn't end up getting any. Okay, this is haul number one. We stopped at Dollar General. So first we stopped at the feed store and I got these little bones for the girls. They really like these. Then Dollar General, I got some dryer sheets and I also got these jars, look how pretty these are. And they weren't very expensive and I wanna put my dehydrated vegetables in them so I can clear out my canning jars and use those for actual canning. We got these dishwasher tablets, these had a coupon. And then things went horribly awry. <laughs> there, they had a lemon wreath. I'm gonna put some extra greenery in this and really make it my own, but I couldn't resist it, I couldn't stop. Look what else they had, these little lemon measuring cups. They are so adorable. They had a lemon dish towel, and I already have a couple of these, but these are so cute. Lemon tablecloth, I had to get it. I don't know, I'm a sucker. And then I got this set of dish towel and pot holders, and I will crochet a top on this with a cute little button and give it away as a gift. I got some fudge marshmallow cookies for my recovery meeting this week because I don't have time to bake right now. I just don't. The extra laundry detergent also had a coupon. I got two huge things of toilet paper because they had a lot and this will carry us all the way through hurricane season. I don't know if you've ever lived in Florida or not, but I have to say that toilet paper is the first thing to go anytime there's a hurricane. And um, June 1st, officially kicks off the beginning of the season. So this will last us all the way through hurricane season. And I got some paper towels. Both of those items also had coupons. And I saved $8.75 in coupons, which pretty much paid for my wreath. And I was kind of excited about that. So this is my Dollar General haul. I did not get this sign, but I have never seen anything so perfect in my life. Here is my haul number two. These beef roasts were on sale for $3.49 a pound. I got four of them. I was so excited to see these. Look how nice that meat looks. So these will all be going into the canner later. We're gonna put a zombie movie on and I'm gonna can some beef. That will be a great addition to my shelf at $3.49 a pound. I got some bananas, some sausage. These were $1.99 each, they were on sale. Mr. Biggs picked up these marked down little steaks for us to eat for dinner tonight. They look super delicious. Bacon was $3.99 a pound. Get out of here. So I got four of them and Mr. Biggs looked at me and said, do we need to get more? I, the maximum was four. So that's all you could get. Then these spare ribs were on sale, buy one, get one free. And this is kind of pricey for spare ribs, but we haven't had ribs in forever. I mean forever. So I did pick these up and these are gonna go in the freezer and we will probably have one of these over Memorial Day weekend and the other one at 4th of July. I got a bag of gluten-free flour. That is $9.99. So we don't eat gluten-free flour very often, but this is my favorite kind. We, these were buy one, get one free. This one does have less cans in it, but it's super delicious and we really like it. So stocked those up. I got some instant decaf coffee. I just opened one and I like to have a certain number on the shelf. Had to replace that. I think that was $4.49. And then gluten-free crackers were on sale two for five and I got the sea salt. I really like these with um, tuna fish and these are so good with a bowl of soup. That's what we got at Winn-Dixie and the, the total was $100. It straight up was a hundred bucks, but I don't shop for groceries like most people do. I just shop what's on sale. Look at all this fresh basil. Holy crud, there, it just keeps going and going and going. We're definitely gonna have to have bruschetta chicken again this week. Living in the forest, I'm always on the lookout for free food and check this out. We had the best time out in the sun picking blackberries together. It was a beautiful sunny day with a light breeze. The blackberries were sweet and fragrant and plump and juicy. You can see by my hands, I'm getting juice everywhere. And I think we ate as many as we picked. This is what the bucket looked like after we were done. 
And when we weighed them out, we had over a pound and a half of blackberries to put in the freezer. I'm so proud of us for spotting that little bush and we were able to go back again the next evening and pick a few more. So we pulled over one and a half pounds of blackberries out of that small patch. And I'll definitely be going back probably Wednesday of this week after work or maybe Tuesday and getting more because there'll be plenty available. So that's pretty awesome. My hands were so stained by all those beautiful blackberries. I laid them out on a cookie sheet with some parchment paper for the freezer. Doing a little of our weekday meal prep on a Saturday night. We've got some beautiful zucchini and squash from the garden with some garlic and we've got potatoes. That's the last three red potatoes that were in the refrigerator. So that's looking really good. There's some beef fat there, giving it some flavor. Listen to that sizzle. Mmm. Oh. That steak is done perfectly and it tastes amazing, like super amazing. It looks amazing, it smells amazing, and it tastes amazing. Here's a copy of my meal plan for the week. Look for a video on just the pasta salad. And then we're gonna have fish. I'm gonna have fish. Mr. Biggs is gonna have spaghetti. Oh, right there, I'm gonna actually have shrimp with cauliflower rice and I will find a vegetable somewhere. Tuesday night, we're gonna have steak and veggies. Now, I prepared this meal on Saturday night. So, this is pretty much ready to go. I do need to put some more squash in these meal prep containers, so I'll take care of that today. But that is done. Mr. Biggs did request potato salad to go with that meal, so I will be making that this morning. Next up, chicken bruschetta. And I know that we had chicken bruschetta a couple of weeks ago, Check this out. This is only some of the tomatoes from our garden, some of the basil. We do have a little bit of cheese left. Got some red onion, turkey and chicken, since I'm allergic to chicken. We have so many tomatoes that I'm gonna make this again. And we love it, so we're not sick of it yet. Next up, sausages, sweet potatoes, and green beans. Sweet potatoes ready to go into the oven. I've got two cans of green beans, might as well just use those up. And here's some sausages for me and sausages for Mr. Biggs. So I'll be making that this morning as well. And it looks like Friday night, we're gonna have burgers and fries, which will be easy. And I will take the burgers out probably on Thursday night to thaw in the fridge while I'm at work on Friday. Bacon I purchased yesterday. I have two packages of that going in the oven right now so that we can have bacon just rolled in the freezer. We had opened this can of cherry pie filling last night to have with the New York style cheesecake from the gluten-free cheesecake taste test. I'm gonna make Mr. Big's cherry chocolate chip muffins for his breakfast this week. And I hope they turn out really good because this is a new experiment for me. There we have it. There's all the things that I'll need to prepare. Let's get to work. Going on Pinterest is my favorite way to use up random things that I find in my refrigerator. I googled cherry pie filling muffins and found this cute recipe for some cherry pie filling chocolate chip muffins. They came out so good. We really, really liked them. It calls for two complete tablespoons of vanilla and I used two tablespoons, it wasn't wrong. It was absolutely gorgeous. I used almond milk this time to kind of cut back on the dairy, even though there was melted butter in this recipe. The key to a good gluten-free muffin is to not over mix your dough. So I'm adding in my gluten-free flour and waiting till it comes just together and turning it off. I've got my cherry pie filling and I actually rinsed some of the filling off so that I would have more cherries than filling. This helped to keep the muffins from getting too wet. We enjoyed this recipe so much, I would make it again. These muffins went into a 400 degree oven at for approximately 12 minutes and they came out perfect. Look how gorgeous that bruschetta topping is. Wow. 
spaghetti sauce for Mr. Biggs is all done. Looking wonderful. And there is enough in here for two meal preps. So one will go in the freezer and the other one he'll use this week. I always try to freeze things flat so that they fit in the freezer better. Here is the steak and grilled vegetable meal prep all done. It looks gorgeous and I can't wait to dig into this one. I have these two random cans of greens and I really want them out of my pantry because they are the last two small cans that I have and I've gone over to larger cans and these are the last two stragglers. So I'm going to add them to my cauliflower rice this week and eat that with shrimp and I think that will taste really good. I finished up my day of shopping, canning, and meal prep with a tomato and mayonnaise sandwich. The tomatoes coming out of our garden this year are absolutely beautiful. Here's a picture of everything that got canned over the weekend. The garden is producing so much that I am sweaty, dirty, and tired. Thank you for staying until the end. And remember, everybody, life is an adventure, so enjoy your journey. Bye-bye!